Hi friends, I hope you're doing well. Today I came across uh, with another interview series questions uh, which was asked uh, in one of the interview Tiger Analytics interview questions. So this was the uh, real time interview questions whatever they have asked. So first question they have asked what is upstream and downstream in your project? So uh where you are where from where you are pulling data what is your source state source uh, and what is the downstream means uh, where you want to dump data like uh, in on in which path you want to store your data like in on-premise database or delta delta lake or any uh, uh, uh aws storage so you have to tell about the this thing in if you are going to ask about upstream and downstream another question how did, uh, did you make the connection between any DB and Amazon S3 or Blob Azure storage using Databricks for upstream? So simply they want, so how you will make a connection between S3 or Blob storage uh, Azure and uh, any other uh, database from where you are going to pull the data. So you have to tell like JDBC connection and any other connections. So you have to search and uh, uh, tell about it. So I will let you know in, uh, I will create a separate video on this topic. I will let you know in for, uh, upcoming video. Third question, should we remove unused data frame? It is useful or not? Suppose I have, I have created one application that contain the different, different data frame, the different transformation, but some of the data frame actually not required. Some of the data frame actually not required. So uh, he asked me, he, uh, ki, can we remove the unused data frame from there? So if yes, so it is useful or not. So this is the third question they have asked. Another question, what is a PAD token in Databricks? So simply, I am not aware about the PAD token. I am not checked. I will check and uh, let you know the in upcoming video. What is a PAD token in Databricks? Another question, without knowing the PAD token and a secret, how are you connecting to the application? This is the another question the, he has asked. He had asked. So another question, how are you integrating data from multiple source? Suppose, uh, suppose uh, you are swiping as uh, there are different different channel like uh, online transaction. If you're going to mall, so you're purchasing something there. Is, there is a different data uh, online transaction is a different data set uh, for if you're going to mall and purchasing goods, so there is different data sets. And uh, if you're going to any other place and creating uh, generating some data, doing some transform, uh, generating some data. So he asked me that uh, he asked me that that uh, suppose we are getting data from multiple uh, multiple sources like uh, banking like uh, 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 like uh, uh, like banking and like uh, uh, any other source like uh, ERP or uh, like uh, 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 FMC market is par market uh, any other market like uh, uh, I'm forget to name can be the name but uh, that uh, any other sources different student uh, uh, school school system or hospital or any other uh, you are getting different different source data from different different source so how will you integrate multiple data sources into a single pipeline so this is the good question they have asked on the uh, on the question now I'm going to fifth question what optimization technique have you used in your projects suppose you are creating a PySpark, you are writing a PySpark code and what is the optimize what are the optimization technique uh, he has provided and you have used in your project so this is the another question what is the work of broadcasting so we know that there are two types of broadcasting first broadcast join and second is broadcast variable so he want to know the about both how they are going to work in separately so you have to get the uh, and uh, get the answer and uh, speak clearly in front of the interview another question they have asked what is the difference between adls and blob storage in azure so you have to speak about the difference between ADLS and blob. Another question is, is came from the Python. What is the difference between list and tuple? So many of the, everyone know the, what is different between list and tuple. So you will speak in front of him. 
वॉट इज अ फॉरन की रिगार्डिंग इन सिक्वल वॉट इज अ फॉरन की देन ही आस्ट अनादर क्वेश्चन वॉट इज द डिफरेंस बिटवीन नॉर्मलाइजेशन एंड डी नॉर्मलाइजेशन इन सिक्वल और इन पाइस फॉर एनी अदर थिंग्स यू कैन एज्यूम एन let let him know what is the normalization what i went to use normalization and what is the benefit of the normalization and when to use the normalization what is the benefit of the normalization is there any performance impact and things so you have to do you have to gather information and uh, prepare ready prepare for the this type of question another question how do you find the last id in a table if the id is alphanumeric like a b c 1 2 3 last id in a table last id in a table so you have to do this way now another question let's say you are testing and want to prepare random row for a table and how would you do it suppose there are testing environment they have given some scenario we have to perform the some testing but for testing you have to required some data so how you prepare a random rows for a table so could you tell me and write a syntax for particular dan another question he has ask how to prevent duplicate record while creating a new table on top of the base table suppose you are creating a new table on top of the base table but you do not want to carry duplicate records so you know that there are key columns based on the key columns we can uh, filter out the record which is required we are going to create only uh, a table with only those record filter out record suppose we don't have a key columns what we can do is we will apply the uh, distinct command before the uh, uh, after select a string before the column name so that way we can also achieve this uh, activity on there so what is the delta table what is the delta table another question he has asked about that now going to the another question how can you create a data frame using a csv file suppose there is a csv file stored in some of the location you have to read and uh, you have to read and you have to create a data frame on top of that so it is very simple you have simply you have to create a spark session and uh, import the necessary libraries and then you have to write a spark dot read dot format what uh, format is csv dot option the header is true and uh, dot uh, dot path you have to give the specify the path dot load so this way you can create a, a data frame on top of the csp file so now i'm going to move another question what do you mean by joins in pyspark data frame so in traditional traditional uh, sql we are no we know that there are five 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 type of join first is left join uh, second right join third is inner join fourth is full join and fifth is cross join so but in spark there are some few more uh, joins and you have to uh, uh, get more uh, clarity on top of that and you, then you have to prepare regarding this type of question in spice spark what is the pivot method in pyspark suppose there is a problem is given and you have uh, you have to apply the pivot method so how can you apply it and what is the pivot method so you have to you have to you have to give the uh, you have to give on there do you have any knowledge of azure key vault so they will ask do you have any knowledge of azure key vault simply you have to uh, explain the things what are store procedure you have to give the uh, idea about the store procedure and what is their advantage what is the advantage of a store procedure so this uh, this is the question which uh, were asked in that uh, tiger uh, tiger interview question so for today it is uh, enough i will uh, come with another interview uh, uh, series interview question series